Happy New Year. Okay, it's the 1st of February, but the reality is that I'm starting to see a lot of patients in the practice that are starting to develop either some type of foot or ankle pain because of their exercise regimen. Stop. You're not alone. You know, I typically will have patients come into the practice that said, I wanted to exercise, I wanted to get healthy, I'm gonna do it on my own. And that was probably the first mistake because if you haven't been doing some type of exercise regimen in a while, why would you wanna do it on your own, okay? Even a simple walking program can get you in trouble. I see a lot of patients this time of year, again, with heel pain and plantar fasciitis. And there's a lot of easy ways to get around that and minimize that so you can keep doing your exercise program. Don't try to do this by yourself. You can even go to the bottom of the webpage and request a free copy of my book, Heel Pain 101. It answers a ton of questions, but the reality is at the end of the day, just like if you're gonna take a road trip or do a road race, what are you gonna do? You're gonna get the car in shape. You're gonna get new tires, okay? If the shoes that you're wearing are over six months old, you probably need new athletic shoes for your exercise regimen. And the other big question is, well, doc, do I need orthotics? Well, maybe you do, but maybe you can take and get away with the mechanical control from a prefab orthotic device versus a custom device. And that's where I can take and help you answer those questions and hopefully save you some time and some money and some heartache. So that said, order a copy of our free book, Heel Pain 101. Look through the blogs on the website about heel pain and exercise, and we'll see you on the other side.